Number 61. What volume of a 0.33 molar C12H22O11 solution can be diluted to prepare 25 milliliters of a solution with a concentration of 0.025 molarity? Okay, so definitely need to have a formula, right? And we're diluting one solution to turn it into another solution. Just remember guys, when you are doing your dilutions, A, you're only adding water, and B, you can only take your higher molarity value and go down to a lower number. Okay, that's what dilution's all about. If you have a way too high molarity, you can add water to your solution to bring it down to a lower number. Dilution formula is this one right here. So anytime that you see the word dilution, or if you notice that you're adding water to something and they give you two molarities, it's this formula right here, M1V1 equals M2V2. Now the hardest part of this formula is you have to recognize what is a pair, right? Um, one volume with one molarity will go on one side and another volume with this corresponding molarity will go on the other side. Now let's try to recognize what goes with what. The easiest thing is if you can spot out when they say when they'll, they'll basically, they'll give you a volume, but then they'll say of a molarity. If you see this setup where they give you, or when they say a volume, and then they say the words of a molarity, that is a pair. So these will go on one side of the dilution formula. It actually doesn't matter which side you put it on because they're equivalent. They're equal to each other. Now, in this case, they're asking what volume? So this is literally the question. We're trying to find that volume. So that's X. But they gave me the corresponding molarity. So I actually know one side of the equation. Let's put it on the left side. So let's see. The molarity would be the 0 0.33. So 0 0.33 molarity. And the volume that corresponds is, that's what we're looking for. Said what volume? So this is the X value. This is gonna equal, right, this pair. Let's go and find those numbers. So we're diluting and we're going to prepare 25 mils. Okay, so that's a volume of a solution with a concentration of 0 0.025 molarity. And even still, you see how they gave you a volume of A, follow the words, here's the next number. They go together. So I know that my volume on this side would be 25 mils and the molarity is this number down here, 0 0.025 molarity. Okie dokie. Now the good thing with this formula is that your volumes could be in milliliters. They could be in liters. They could be any, you know, any volume. Mainly because your volume units are going to cancel out. Remember when we did molarity equals moles over liters? This is the other molarity formula that you have to remember. This was specific towards liters. However, in your dilution formula, you could use liters, you could use milliliters. The unit of the volume just has to be the same for both V1 and V2. So I can keep the uh, 25 mils here. Oops. Okay, so let's do the math. 0 0.33, this is times X, and this all equals the right side, which is 0 0.025 times 25. I just want to solve for X, right? And X is over here. So I'm just going to divide by 0 0.33. Divide on both sides. This cancels, and now we're just left with x equals. Let's find out what the number is. 0 0.025 times 25 divided by 0.33. Lowest number of sig figs I see here is 2. So I should get two uh, sig figs back. So it would be 1.9. Now, let's check to see the unit. The unit will match up with what the volume unit you put in. So here was my other volume. I gave it as a milliliter. So what do you think my volume unit's going to be? Yeah, it's going to be in mils. 
So that is your final answer. I would only need 1.9 milliliters of a 0.33 molarity solution. And that's it. Guys, hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. That will help us out. And if you like this video, give it a like too. But if you don't do any of that, that's fine as well. All right. Love you guys anyway. You guys rock. Let's keep studying hard. Let's ace those quizzes and exams. And yeah, I'll see you all later. Have a great day.